Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here we are starting with the analysis video for 5th of August 2023. Firstly, we'll be taking up the Hindu newspaper. So here we see that the Supreme Court it stays Rahul's conviction for the Modi surname remark. So it says that the Surat Court it failed to give even one reason for sentencing the Congress leader to two-year jail term. That resulted in his disqualification as MP. However, it adds the remark who is not in good taste. But again, when we talk about the Supreme Court ne jo main cheez boli hai ki Gujarat High Court, it couldn't give even single reason behind the judgment. And obviously, then you have disqualification mentioned here. So disqualification se related jo bhi basic concepts hai, background jo pata hona chahiye. Constitutional provisions, disqualification, basically kya conditions hoti hai, uh, under which disqualification can happen and then again implications. So in this picture you can see uh, an artist from Rajasthan performing the Kalbelia dance during the National Folk and Tribal Art Festival in Bhopal. So you can basically find out about other dance art forms in India. And obviously you need to know their home state as well. So such types of questions are very common. They come up in the form of match the following. So days after communal violence, many houses have been bulldozed in the new district of Haryana. So communal violence, that's a separate topic here. We're just seeing what are basically how actions have been taken after such violence. So district administration, it has demolished several illegal houses in the Nalhar village of Haryana. Most of them, they were along the route and the route on which communal violence had happened was a route towards the Nalhar Shiv temple. So all these illegal structures, they have been demolished. So the question comes why after violence? Kya isse pehle administration was not knowing about their illegal nature. Usse pehle action kyun nahi liya gaya? Is the main question. So formation of new districts in any state. Aapko pura procedure process ke baare mein pata hona chahiye. So here we're talking in the context of Rajasthan. So Rajasthan, it approves formation of 19 new districts. So with an eye on the upcoming assembly elections in the state, uh, the assembly, the state assembly, it has approved a proposal to form 19 new districts, three new divisions in the state. So Assam's Manus Tiger Reserve, 63% short of the sanctioned stuff. And Environment Minister has been informed about this. So Tiger Reserves all over India, kitne hai? their location that becomes important. And we have kuch din pehle humne baat kari thi tiger census and kya results rahe. Madhya Pradesh is a state jahan pe hume highest number of tigers in India milte hai. And apart from this, when we talk about their functioning and the challenges. So this is one of the challenges, shortage of sanctioned staff and different tiger reserves. So safety of wildlife and biodiversity. So that comes under question because of shortage of sanctioned staff. So this is a very basic point. So here we see that while the All India Tiger Estimation 2022, it is published that uh, it is indicated that the Western Assam's Manus National Park and the Tiger Reserve, it is moving from a low to high tiger density area. So this is one result. And the bad news for the National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site also. So all over India, you know all UNESCO sites. Ke mein pata hona important ho jate. And 
uh, more population has been recorded in the Kaziranga National Park as well in the Tiger Reserve, but there is shortage of staff. So lessons of Hiroshima major nuclear attack was that obviously it must not drift away. So first of all, this is important that the lessons are for us. And the current geopolitical situation and global level, if we talk about it, in that context, mein how those lessons they are very important, how we can basically apply them and prevent any future nuclear attack. Because in the context of Russia-Ukraine war, obviously nuclear weapons uses is, is, is definitely one of the threats. So concept of deterrence, this uh, is always an argument when we talk about nuclear weapons or nuclear armed states. Ki baat karte. So this is obviously one general argument uh, for deterrence, uh, having nuclear capabilities and weapons is important. So even since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, it has tested the world's notions of nuclear uh, deterrence, but nuclear deterrence gave different notions. Hai. So that have been tested because of Ukraine war and the nuclear taboo as well. So the taboo, it is grounded firmly in our treating the nuclear weapons as different. So nuclear weapons, uh, basically uh, it is like in the Bernard Rudy celebrated trade, they are the absolute weapons. Nuclear weapons, go, this phrase is also used for them. So the special treatment is grounded not so much in the power of the atomic bomb. And we're able to dial up or down the destructive capability of the modern nukes. And we have developed conventional munitions that rival some nuclear destructiveness or even inability to flatten a city in moments. So testing different notions, like even since the Ukraine war, we have seen what are different notions around the concept of deterrence of nuclear weapons responses. Ki baat kare. There is, however, room for hope in the official responses by the NATO and other nuclear weapon states. So we have seen that when Ukraine war start where Russia ne, uh, how it has, you know, issued different number of times is issued warnings around the usage, the possible usage of nuclear weapons in future. So that's there. That is one. Yeah, responses ki baat kar rahe. USA ki baat kar rahe, that also did not change its nuclear preparedness, thereby not fueling the nuclear speculation building up in Europe. Crucially, in November, even China's president called on the international community to jointly oppose the use of the threats to use of the nuclear weapons. So, Cuban Missile Crisis, ke mein, you can find out a little bit. Cold War era, ki baat ki jayegi jab aap nuclear weapons. Ki baat kar rahe ho. So talking about America's pursuit of Saudi Arabia and Israel rapprochement. So yeah, basically USA is cheese ko support karta hai. and USA wanted Saudi Arabia and Israel to you know build a stronger relationship, but of it we have seen a uh, deal that was brokered by China between Saudi Arabia and Iran. So kahin na kahin, uh, we talked about this major theme, uh, USA's influence in West Asia. How USA has been withdrawing and how China ka central role increase hota ja rahe. Yeah, we can say that Chinese involvement in this region is increasing and specifically after USA's withdrawal China ke liye, uh, things have become a little more easier. Now in this context, aapko India ke mein, uh, how things jo bhi developments ho rahi hai Central Asia, mein, wo Israel or 
सॉरी चाहे वो सऊदी अरेबिया और ईरान की क्लोजनेस हो तो उसका इंडिया के ऊपर क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा फॉरेन रिलेशन में या जो हमारी बायोलिट्रल कोऑपरेशन है तो उस पर कैसे इम्पैक्ट करेगा सो so, वो एंगल भी इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाते हैं सो so, सऊदी अरेबिया के इनिशिएटिव्स की बात करें तो आपको पता होना चाहिए इंडिया के भी क्या इनिशिएटिव्स रहे हैं सेंट्रल एशिया या हाउ वी प्लान बेसिकली टू इंक्रीज इंडिया रोल इन डाइवर्स वेज इन सेंट्रल एशियन रीजन सो सऊदी अरेबिया के इनिशियटिव गो थ्रू इट इसमें इतना कोई डिफिकल्टी में प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी कन्वर्जेंस बट विद डिफरेंट मोटिव सऊदी अरेबिया के क्या मोटिव है सऊदी अरेबिया एंड ईरान ने क्यों अग्री किया टू यू नो रिस्टोर देयर डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन एंड यूएसए किस मोटिव से आया था क्या वो फुलफिल हुए नहीं हुए एक वो डिमेंशन हो जाते हैं एंड अगेन इंडिया क्या चाहता है हाउ इंडिया कैन बेनिफिट हाउ इंडिया कैन इंक्रीज इट्स प्रेजेंस और इट्स डेवलपमेंट रोल इन सेंट्रल एशिया सो वाइडर इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा इसका ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी पे ग्लोबल पॉलिटिक्स पे सो ग्लोबल फॉलो आउट फ्रॉम सच अ डेवलपमेंट इट वुड बी क्वाइट प्रोफाउंड इस्लामिक मेन स्ट्रीम इट वुड लाइकली फॉलो दी साउदी लीड with countries such as pakistan and indonesia they would be following and however it would further marginalize the palestinians cause and it may polarize and radicalize them and other opponents of israel such as iran and syria hezbollah hamas and islamic state so this can be one of the wider impacts and having invested considerable diplomatic capital in this quest usa it may eventually succeed despite the formidable odds particularly as we see in the israeli government it would have to moderate some of its hard held policies also so saudi israeli rapprochement would have a mildly positive impact on india so india ke upar iska positive impact zarur ho sakta hai and it would remove the contradiction in india's regional policy and better align saudi arabia with us so it may open opportunities as the us it pushes back china from this region but then it may also give israel the reasons to hyphenate india and uh, india with the islamic countries including pakistan so ye kuch possibilities hain jo ho sakti hain so prime minister is going to lay the foundation stone for the ramping of 508 railway stations in india so firstly broader context mein you need to think about revamping mein ya redevelopment of railway stations mein aur kya kiya jana chahiye in the like you can think about technological terms mein infrastructure terms mein services mein kuch aise initiatives jo uh, act kar sakte hain as additional revenue generating sources so in dimensions may you can think about and again sare jo steps hone chahiye that needs to be uh, in the context of sustainable development green energy ka aap kaise use kar sakte ho so all of that is important and already is theme ke around means mein question aa chuka hai ki what is the role of ppp model in redevelopment of railway stations in india वर्ल्ड पेज पे वी सी सो एफ एफ के बारे में बेसिक्स पाकिस्तान ने एक बिल पास किया है टू मीट द एफ ए टी एफ डिमांड बिकॉज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस एंड अगेन जो भी टेररिज्म से रिलेटेड एक्टिविटीज है इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द कंट्री तो कुछ डिमांड्स हैं एफ की जो आपको फुलफिल करना इम्पोर्टेंट है अदरवाइज बेसिकली जो डिफरेंट लिस्ट होती है लाइक ग्रे लिस्ट यहाँ पे मैंशन है रेड लिस्ट ब्लैक लिस्ट मैंशन है तो इफ यू विल नॉट अडेर टू दीज डिमांड्स या प्री रेक्विजिट ऑफ एफ ए टी एफ 
तो यू बी ब्लैक लिस्टेड सो आपको पता होना चाहिए कौन सी कंट्रीज ऑलरेडी ब्लैक लिस्टेड है एंड पाकिस्तान का थोड़ा सा इन हिस्ट्री क्या ब्लैक लिस्ट में था पहले कि नहीं मूव आउट किया कि नहीं किया सो ऑल ऑफ दैट तो 2018 में पाकिस्तान इट वाज प्लेस्ड ऑन द ग्रे लिस्ट ऑफ एफ इन 2018 थाउजेंड इट हैड टू मेक अ ह्यूज एफर्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट इन 2021 सो पाकिस्तान राइट नाउ इट इज इवन आउट ऑफ ग्रे लिस्ट सो आपको इम्प्लीकेशन भी पता होनी चाहिए अगर ब्लैक लिस्ट हो जाती है कंट्री या ग्रे लिस्ट हो जाती है तो उसके क्या इम्प्लीकेशन होते हैं तो हमने देखा था लैपटॉप और पीसी के इम्पोर्ट कर्ब्स लगा दिए गए हैं आपके पास प्रॉपर लाइसेंस होना चाहिए विद इमीडिएट इफेक्ट एंड ऑब्वियसली दिस इज अ स्टेप इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोर टूवर्ड्स यू नो हैविंग सेल्फ रिलायंस सेल्फ सस्टेनेबिलिटी तो डोमेस्टिक सेक्टर के लिए इट इज अ पॉजिटिव डिसीजन पर्सनल डेटा प्रोटेक्शन बिल के बारे में हम बहुत ज्यादा डिस्कस कर चुके हैं एंड डिफरेंट डायमेंशन वे हैव गॉन थ्रू दैम और डन प्रॉपर स्क्रूटनी क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस सो यू कैन गो थ्रू पास्ट वीडियोज एंड यू हैव मच मोर क्लैरिटी बिहाइंड द प्रोविजन बेसिकली वी टॉक्ड अबाउट क्या चैलेंजेस हैं एंड बेसिकली ओवरऑल कॉन्टेक्स में वी टेक अप की कहीं ना कहीं वी आर सींग की डायल्यूशन किया जा रहा है प्रोविजन का which can be a threat to data safety and privacy that is one of the fundamental rights so our different dimensions so you can just go through it kya provisions hai bill ke coming to financial express newspaper so here we see so india is looking to broaden its free trade agreement network so we are in talks with peru that's going to basically resume shortly open to pact with chile as well so closer ties ke liye this is one of the instruments that we have and obviously it would be boosting the trade as well given we are in challenging times right now we are seeing slow down in our exports so it seeks to be more open to such agreements in its bid to improve the access to world markets for goods and services so we'll be having greater access to world market and peru is the fourth leading trade partner of india and india is peru's ninth largest global trading partner so फ्री ट्रेड अग्रीमेंट के कॉन्टेक्स में आप थोड़ा इन दैकग्राउंड और दिस्ट्री यू नीड टू यू नो एनालाइज की पास्ट में जो हमने एफ टी अग्रीमेंट साइन किए उनका कितने हद तक इंडिया को बेनिफिट हुआ और बेनिफिट नहीं हुआ तो अब जो हम एफ टी ए साइन कर रहे हैं हाउ दे आर डिफरेंट या फिर इफ दे आर नॉट डिफरेंट वॉट मोर नीड्स टू बी डन so regional rural banks they need to raise digital focus digital banking uh, e technology e banking pe they need to focus so they play an important role jab hum rural economy ki baat karte hain msmes ki baat karte hain farmers ki baat karte hain so finance minister has urged the sponsor banks to map these regional rural banks with msme clusters improve their presence in these clusters while devising innovative products for msmes to serve them in a much more better way so credit availability ki terms mein aap baat karo so she also asked rrbs to focus on increasing the digital active customers in line with the government's effort to move towards greater digitalization and obviously this will be leading to more financial inclusion as well so better adoption of technology loan management system core banking system it should be done in a time bound manner so retail onion prices it may rise 150% in september so this is a forecast and again food inflation is a concern for us but as we say ki this is due to seasonal reasons but uh, agar 
uh, we obviously uh, we I have raised this question before as well ki if this is seasonal and we are seeing this every single year to or kya kya jana chahiye in order to ensure ki this is not happening time and again every year during the same time period something can be done so what can be done and that needs to be done obviously so india insulated itself from rising fuel prices so the Union Petroleum Minister said that there are plans to expand the refining capacities to about 450 million ton a year. And right now it is at 252 million tons. So almost doubling it. And then the discount in the Russian crude oil, it is not as much now as it used to be in the initial period after the Ukraine conflict that began. So Obviously, discount come over time, but again, India ka jo share hai, fir Russia ka jo share in terms of uh, supplying crude oil to India, so that have massively increased. And India is insulated from rising fuel prices, so you have strategic reserves. Ki baat kar sakte ho. Prelims ke perspective, sa, you need to know about their location. And that's there, aane wale time mein what needs to be done for a long term steps hai. but again renewable energy kya baat kar sakte ho green fuel kya baat kar sakte ho So there's one view that India can replace China as world's factory. So agar aap isko thoda broadly sochoge, so we can replace konse aise area hai, konse aise sectors hai, jahan pe India holds the potential. Currently konse aise sectors hai, jahan pe jo China ke sector se zada strength and zada powerful hai, they're performing nicely. And kahan pe we can replace China? where we can again future may we can replace China or areas China से सीखने की जरूरत है तो ये सारी चीजों के बारे में आप सर्च कर सकते हो so even domestic institutional investors they also reverse the trend so we are seeing yesterday uh, the stock market was bullish. So FIS, they have withdrawn rupees 9,000 crores during the same period. And domestic institutional investors, they have invested rupees 12,000 crores in two weeks period. So overall, if we are seeing broader picture again, jo foreign institutional investors, hai, they are also infusing money into the Indian stock market. So forex reserves, pehle to jo basic conceptual cheez hai, pata honi chahiye kya components hai, what all things comprises of forex reserves and how can they change. So appreciation, depreciation ka aapko impact pata honi chahiye exports and imports ke upar. And yeah, that's there. So harvesting the liquid gold. So liquid gold ke baat karte we're talking about the olive cultivation for oil production. It uh, makes a lot of sense for India. So again, here we are talking sustainability. Ki baat kar rahe. So center, it should take a clue from the success in Rajasthan and remove the policy hurdles which exist. So Rajasthan model, you can find about kya basic cheese hai. So we'll just quickly go through this article. So we see absence of a testing requirement to establish the quality, authenticity of what is imported as extra virgin olive oil, it has meant that the rates they are suppressed for the farmer to be enthusiastic about the domestic production. So this is one reason why farmers are not, you know, actively taking up the cultivation of olives. So organized olive production in India, it began in 2007, May we are seeing since 2007 it began when saplings from Israeli company Indolive, they were imported and planted in Rajasthan. So Kashmir may be uh, olive trees plant ki gai hai, which were which are varieties from US, Egypt, Italy. And we see that 
देन अगेन क्वेश्चन आता है क्या क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन हैं जहाँ पे ऑलिव ट्रीज दे कैन ग्रो नाइसली सो ग्लोबल कंजम्पन ऑफ ऑलिव ऑयल इट इज अराउंड थ्री मिलियन टन पर ईयर मेजर कंज्यूमर कंट्रीज जो है इट इंक्लूड यूरोप यू एस ब्राजील कैनेडा जापान चाइना ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड इसराइल दे आर द लार्जेस्ट पर कैपिटा कंज्यूमर ऑफ वर्जिन ऑलिव ऑयल सो यहाँ पे डेटा की बात की गई है so the oil it currently represents only 0.414% of the edible oils which are sold in india so india itna koi major importer nahi hai but however it we are still importing uh, our imports they are have nearly quadrupled in the past decade so hamare imports increase ho rahe hain and by the next year the demand is expected to touch 42000 tons so राइट नाउ इट इज एट नाइनटी थ्री हंड्रेड टन इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन फिगर्स के अगर हम बात करें सो जो इंडिया में ऑलिव ऑयल मार्केट है अगेन दैट इज एस्टिमेटेड टू रीच टू हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी तो स्कोप ऑफ एक्सपेंशन ग्रोथ बहुत ज्यादा एग्जिस्ट करते हैं सो हाउ वी कैन बेसिकली मेक इट एन अट्रैक्टिव ऑप्शन फॉर द फार्मर्स सो इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी टिलिंग प्लांटिंग एंड हार्वेस्टिंग farmers they do not uh, need to spend on related inputs like energy fertilizer and labor also so is tarike se beneficial hai farmers ke liye and they also prevent erosion of the top soil and facilitate capture of atmospheric carbon throughout the year so even we can call it to be climate resilient and we see that seasonally it is plowed crops they capture carbon only until they are harvested so since obviously it grows on trees to harvest karne ki zarurat nahi padti to carbon capture mein bhi isliye is tarike se it helps kyunki jo normal crops grow kiye jate hain they hold the carbon and captures it until they are harvested so olive cultivation it allows greater ground cover and it increases biological diversity also reduces the use of herbicides and insecticides so these are some of the advantages and so kya climate chahiye what is a desirable climate this may we can get the best output so the national mission on oil seeds has that is clubbed olive under the tree born oil seed so national mission on oil seeds you can go through it targets kya hain तो ट्री बॉर्न ऑयल सीड्स जो हैं दे हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एज करंजा नीम जट्रोफा वाइल्ड एप्रिकॉर्ड्स ऑल दीज आर डिफरेंट वैरायटीज महुआ जोजोबा चेरुआ एंड ऑलिव सो देयर आर सम सब्सिडीज व्हिच आर अवेलेबल फॉर द कोऑपरेटर्स एंड द सेंट्रल एजेंसीज सो बेसिकली पीपल आर आल्सो नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट दैट इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द कल्टीवेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सब्सिडीज so it will like it can be grown even in the desert areas of kutch to ensure better economic return from desert farming so desert farm maybe it can be leveraged so we discussed all the positives around it we discussed about the market and it becomes important so the term that is used was liquid gold coming to hindustan times so here let's see the important key topics for us for today so landslide in kedarnath route again natural disasters ki hum baat kare specifically hill states mein during the monsoon season obviously aise bahut zyada डिजास्टर्स इवेंट्स हमें देखने को मिलते हैं तो डिजास्टर प्रिपेयरनेस मैनेजमेंट रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन रिलीफ ऑपरेशन रिलीफ मेजर्स क्या लिए जा सकते हैं क्योंकि आने वाले टाइम में ऑब्वियसली वी एक्सपेक्ट द फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द इंटेंसिटी टू इंक्रीज सो किस तरीके की कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज की जानी चाहिए स्पेसिफिकली हिली एरियाज में इक्वली इट अप्लाइज टू दी प्लेन ऑल्सो प्लेन में भी वी आर सींग एरियाज अफेक्टेड बाय फ्लडिंग क्लाउड बर्स्ट फ्लैश फ्लड्स देखने को मिल रहे हैं तो इस डायमेंशन में सोचने की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत है सस्टेनेबल कंस्ट्रक्शन अर्बनाइजेशन किस तरीके से होना चाहिए एंड दैट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट
So another grim climate record has been broken. Oceans, they record their highest ever surface temperature. So this is after the highest air temperature it was recorded in July. So we are recording highest ever surface temperature even in the oceans. So warmer oceans, basically we also use the term acidification. So it has adverse impact of marine life ki baat karo, apart from generally disrupting the global climate also. So global climate, obviously, if monsoon, if El Nino ki baat karoge, to, then it is related to economy because it impacts food inflation. Ko impact karti hai. Food inflation will impact karegi, to consumers' ki jo purchasing power hai, that would reduce, demand will fall. Again, demand fall hoge, to production would also somewhere fall because demand is ho hai. So that's why everything is interlinked. So Indian aviation sector, if we talk about nationalization, ki baat kare, to Air India was nationalized in 1953, so referring to the archives. So government takes the control of the aviation sector. Um, Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, he unveiled the rebranded Indian Airlines and Air India. So this is... Uh, from their legacy of truth. So India's air transport industry it became the state-owned industry in 1953. It was nationalized. And two corporations were inaugurated. One was Indian Airlines. Another was Air India International. So large and distinguished gathering saw Nehru press a button which unfurled the new flags of the corporation on the aircraft and uncovered their new markings as Indian Airlines. So when we refer to the speech of the former prime minister, he stressed the fact that India, which had attained independence through peaceful means, it could certainly achieve smaller ends like nationalization of industries without bitterness. It could now be said with confidence, he declared that we in India can carry out big tasks through negotiations and goodwill. So planned economy model that we adopted. So today's function is of historic significance. It also marked the culmination of evolutionary process going on in the country. So not just in terms of economy, nationalization, how things evolved, uh, since independence, uske mein aap so sakte ho, because then it also becomes a broader theme. And aaj ke time mein agar hum aviation industry ki baat kare, concerns kya hain, then aviation turbine fuel mein jo hume fluctuations dekhne ko milti in terms of its prices, obviously that is also another thing. Then we have been also talking about off late about ki proper formula hona chahi to calculate the airfares, jo tickets air tickets ke prices hote hain, usko calculate karne ke liye proper formula use kiya jana chahiye. And then safety, we talk about the safety. And right now, we also saw that orders have been placed for new aircrafts. So, in the time, mein, how demand is going to increase? Obviously, the orders have been placed according to those projections. Then, safety ke mein and how basically technology can come into play. So, all of that is important. So here we have the Chinar saplings which plant, plant ki gai thi at SP Mark, they failed to survive. So species which plant ki gai at the Central Ridge includes Chinar. Origin is European and Central Asia. It is grown in Jammu and Kashmir in India. And experts ka gana ye ki ye Delhi mein nahi survive kar sakta. Then Jakaranda, it is native to South America. And again, this can grow in Delhi. Gulmohar. It is native to Madagascar and it's well known for its bright orange red flowers. This can also survive in Delhi. Cherry blossom hai. Japan, China, Korea say it may not survive. Then Bougainvillea, it is native to South America. Egg, thorny ornamental vines, bushes hai. It can grow in Delhi. 
and amaltus also known uh, the indian laburnum it is native to delhi So work for Bharat, you can register online on this website, niti.gov.in. So Prime Minister says that we walk together, we move together, we think together, we resolve together, and together we take this country forward. So you can basically register and you can grab your chance to work in fields like economics, big data, IT, climate change, and many more sectors. So what is CMNBA? So it is Nippon Bharat Associates. It is working in UP. So her detail has been mentioned. It is providing a unique opportunity for the young zealous leaders from the nation's best universities to work closely with the district administration to catalyze the implementation of Nippon and achieve universal foundational literacy and numeracy among all the government primary school students of UP. So, Nippon Bharat ke baare mein aap features ke baare mein aur search kar sakti hain. Aap eligibility mentioned hain. CM NBA ke baare mein mentioned hain. Jaman Kashmir tourism potential. So, tourism it blooms in Jaman Kashmir after the abrogation of Article 370 and world's highest railway bridge that is constructed over River Chanab. 95% of the work has been completed. So it is the Katra Banihar Rail. Azadi Ka Amrit Maud Siddhar was also celebrated. Then art and culture ke baare mein, you can find out, discover the land of mystic beauty. So different places, Gulmarg, Sonmarg, Bani, Sarthal, all of these have been mentioned. You can go through these details. And it Jammu Kashmir, it breaks the record for the tourist arrivals. So this is again Jammu and Kashmir ke upar hi. So when, see, basically it is comparing the situation before this article 370 was abrogated. So there was terrorism, separatism, treason, stone pelting, infiltration, elections were questioned, anarchy, and strike. So you can basically, objective way mein, you can compare the situation jo pehle thi and aaj ke time mein how it is improved. We are not saying ye terrorism completely eliminate ho gaya, but yes, you can talk about the reduction in such instances. So ongoing developmental journey of four years since the abrogation of this article was abrogated in 2019. So crackdown on terrorism, separatism, so related kya steps liye gai, wo important ho jata hai. And that needs to be reflected in your answers also rather than you know, just broadly speaking or theoretically writing things. You need to bring discrete points. Kya actual cheeze li gai hai, steps liye gai hai. Kya minor, minute changes ho rahe hai, kaise progress ho rahe hai. So, grassroots democracy strengthened hui, panchayati raj elections kiye gai. Historical changes mein, it is ready for mega events of the international level from the perspective of Pele. Obviously, security was very important though. That's why uh, these uh, international events were not conducted there. And first time in Jammu and Kashmir, kya kya cheeze ho rahi hai, unprecedented flights ho rahi hai, achievements, infrastructure development area mein, AIMS, IMs, IITs are being set up. So this we've talked about, ki sea surface temperature makes a new heat record. 
सो कोरल रीव्स अगेन थोड़ा और आप उसको और ब्रेक करके लिख सकते हो अगेन की कोरल रीव्स उनके ऊपर क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा हाउ दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट जब आप पूरे ओशन इको सिस्टम मरीन इको सिस्टम की बात करते हो एंड हमने देखा कि ऑब्वियसली इट कैन इम्पैक्ट द क्लाइमेट एज वेल सो एक्सपर्ट्स का कहना ये कि क्लाइमेट क्राइसिस इज मेकिंग द ओशन वार्मर एज दे ऑब्जॉर्ब मोर ऑफ द हीट फ्रॉम राइजिंग ग्रीन हाउस गैस अमिशन एंड अगेन जब हम कार्बन कैप्चर की भी बात करते हैं तो वॉट इज देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड रोल वो भी आप देख आ सकते हो सी यू कैन सी कोरल ब्लीचिंग यहाँ पे मैंशन ऑलरेडी की गई है सो so, थोड़ा आप अगर बैठोगे सोचोगे और माइन्यूट की कैसे चीजों को ब्रेक कर सकते हो तो आपको और थोड़ी क्लैरिटी मिलेगी now we'll take up the times of india newspaper so supreme court ka jo decision tha stayed his conviction this we have seen so we'll just take up the topics जो अभी तक हमने डिस्कस नहीं किए हैं सो एम जस्ट सर्चिंग फॉर दैम अदरवाइज यहाँ पे पूरा हरियाणा में जो वायलेंस हो इसके बारे में बात हो रही है सी एम एन बी के बारे में हम देख चुके हैं चिनार सैपलिंग हम देख चुके हैं सो वी कैन जस्ट मूव ऑन टू दी एडिटोरियल अगर वहाँ पे कुछ हमें न्यू एंड इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक मिलता है तो so again hilly states they are under pressure and we're seeing natural disasters obviously himachal pradesh mein we saw mandi mein cloud burst flash floods kaise hue landslides ho rahi hai kedarnath mein so 48 hours ke andar andar it broke the paradise just level for destruction dekhne ko mila here you can see the map is also there parvati river then sanj river hai bias river and mandi this is located here to so dams the pandu dam largi dam is there parbati three dam is there so even dam safety ke perspective se bhi we can think ki kaun si aisi locations pe dam banaye jane chahiye jahan pe safety compromise na ki jaye jo natural flow of river hai wo change na ho तो द जंक वी कैन नॉट सिंपली स्टॉप ईटिंग मतलब आज के टाइम में हमारी फूड ईटिंग हैबिट्स इतनी ज्यादा चेंज हो चुकी हैं कि स्पेसिफिकली uh, जब से वी आर हैविंग दीज एप्स जोमैटो हो स्विगी हो वी जस्ट टेक सेकंड्स एंड दैट टेक सेकंड्स टू ऑर्डर सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज इम्पैक्टिंग योर हेल्थ सो इट रिक्वायर्स चेंजेस इन योर लाइफ स्टाइल अल्ट्रा प्रोसेस्ड फूड जो होते हैं इट हार्म्स और बॉडीज बाय हैकिंग आर ब्रेन obviously hacking our memory also 
and it can also be you know a potential thing which can lead up to your mental stress you being in depression you not being like so energetic and active you you or you might be always be you know lazy lazy and not feeling to do something so this is somewhere linked to our eating habits the lifestyle that we follow तो यहाँ पे पूरे आर्टिकल में बात की जा रही है अगेन इम्पैक्ट क्या है अल्ट्रा प्रोसेस्ड फूड के हमारी बॉडी के ऊपर हेल्थ के ऊपर क्या इम्पैक्ट है सो दिस इज ऑल रिलेटेड टू द कल्चर ऑफ वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड एंड ऑब्वियसली दिस इज फॉर्म ऑफ मटीरियलिज्म अगेन कमर्शलाइजेशन इज देयर सो शॉर्ट टेक्स ऑन बिग डील्स आपको डिस्काउंट मिलते हैं अगेन वो दैट बिकम्स एन अट्रैक्टिव थिंग ऑब्वियसली वो कोई इतना बड़ा डिफरेंस नहीं क्रिएट करते हैं इन योर लाइफ बट अगेन हेल्थ के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा इम्पैक्ट होता है स्पेसिफिकली ओवर रिलायंस जो है ऑर्डरिंग फूड यू माइट थिंक की मतलब एक ऑप्शन ये भी आजकल बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है कि हेल्थी फूड्स वाला ऑप्शन इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल बट कहीं ना कहीं अगेन यू कॉन्ट ट्रस्ट इट हंड्रेड परसेंट so companies they help the women break the maritime glass ceiling so aaj ke time mein we we'll talk about women led development so maritime glass ceiling how this is happening so mersk sees five fold jump in the female sailors in a year with 60% of recruits coming from india so this is going to be the last newspaper for the day indian express so just quickly scan through the important topic so you see in this picture the first agni veer batch the basics obviously aapko pata hone chahiye so an army soldier carries his baby during the passing out parade ceremony ceremony for the first batch of agni veer scheme recruits in bengaluru so hamare liye agni veer scheme ke अगेन ऑब्जेक्टिव एनालिसिस बिकम्स मच मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट बेनिफिट्स अगेन क्या नेगेटिव्स हो सकते हैं सो so, ओवरऑल आज जैसे हमने काफी बात करी टूरिज्म के बारे में डिफरेंट स्टेट्स के बारे में सो so, ओवरऑल जो इंडिया की टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री है अगेन आप उसके बारे में भी थोड़ा और यू कैन थिंक अबाउट ब्रॉडर कॉन्टेक्स्ट में अगेन हाउ यू नो जब हम बात करते हैं सस्टेनेबल टूरिज्म की तो वो चीज आ सकती है सस्टेनेबल नाउ सस्टेनेबल टूरिज्म में भी और स्पेसिफिक आपको जाने की जरूरत है उसमें भी डिफरेंट डायमेंशन आप सोच सकते हो तो चीता प्रोजेक्ट की सक्सेसफुल मतलब सक्सेस के ऊपर ऑब्वियसली क्वेश्चंस रेज किए जा रहे हैं बिकॉज वी बीन लूजिंग चीता क्या रीजन है उसके पीछे समझना इम्पोर्टेंट है ट्रांसपेरेंसी इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाती है डेटा शेयरिंग के टर्म्स में विद दी एक्सपर्ट्स तो जम्मू एंड कश्मीर के बारे में वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एक्सप्लेन पेज पे फोर इयर्स विदाउट आर्टिकल थ्री सेवेंटी यहाँ पे भी इट्स ऑल अबाउट दैट चाहे आप कॉन्स्टिटुएंसीज रीड्रॉन की बात करो डी लिमिटेशन कमीशन के बारे में बात करो पोलिटिकल अपेंडेड पोल्स आर अवेटेड सो डिस्ट्रिक्ट काउंसिल इलेक्शन ट्वेंटी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बिटवीन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एट एंड दिसंबर नाइनटीन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी में किए गए रेजिंग होप्स फॉर अ डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस एज अ ग्रास रूट लेवल दिस इज वन मेजर थिंग दैट इज हैपेंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड्स विद द मेंबर्स हु वर नॉमिनेटेड बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स पॉलिटिकल रीअलाइनमेंट्स देखने को मिली विल नॉट गोइंग टू द पॉलिटिकल थिंग्स डीलिमिटेशन हुई है so stone throwing militancy they are down but targeted killings they are still remain a major concern so kahan pe improvements hui hain kya abhi bhi still concerns hain 
वो इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाता है सो रिडक्शन इन द मिलिटेंट एक्टिविटी सिंस टू यू कैन सी डेथ्स का हमारे पास डेटा है डेथ ऑफ सिक्योरिटी पर्सनल रिडक्शन 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 हुआ है 14 फोर्टीन परसेंट रिडक्शन बिल इतना इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है मतलब यहाँ पे हमारे पास डिफरेंट मॉडल की हम बहुत बात करते हैं यूएस मॉडल क्या है चाइना मॉडल क्या है इंडिया का क्या बेसिकली इंडिया क्या इनसे सीख सकते हैं क्या लेसन ले सकते हैं मल्टी प्रोंग अप्रोच में क्या क्या होना इम्पोर्टेंट है क्रिटिसिज्म तो बिल हम ऑलरेडी बात कर चुके हैं एंड गवर्नमेंट का क्या काउंटर है दिस बिल ऑलरेडी सीन सो कैन जस्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू दिस आर्टिकल so cabinet clears the telecom bill with relaxations on the ott regulation so the draft bill has been approved by the cabinet and it is unlikely to be introduced in this ongoing monsoon session so marli kya uh, provisions hain draft ke wo aap dekh sakte ho but jab tak ki koi uh, bill law nahi ban jata tab tak wo itna important nahi hota hai from the examination perspective so so upgraded ratings for India so, yeah, again economy की बात करें रेजिलेंस की बात करें हाउ वी आर स्टिल परफॉर्मिंग बेटर डिस्पाइट ग्लोबल चैलेंजेस एंड जो नेशनल लेवल के डोमेस्टिक चैलेंजेस हैं एंड इंडिया की आप बैंकिंग सेक्टर की रेजिलेंस की बात कर सकते हो देन क्या कंसर्न स्टिल एग्जिस्ट करते यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट फॉरन इनफ्लोज के बारे में दे आर राइजिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो बूस्टिंग and jo india mein investment prospects are obviously because of that because of the positive things we are seeing the foreign funds inflow and chinese economy mein jo slow down ho raha hai again uske wajah se bhi kahin na kahin uh, india ek good safe and alternative option ban jata hai for the investors china plus one strategy ki hum baat karte hain and is india at the start of a long wave boom or not so yahan par capita income ke bare mein baat kar sakte ho right now it is at 2500 dollars per gdp by 2030 we expect it would be going up by 4000 uh, dollars but again when we aspire to be a developed country to uske liye it needs to be much more higher to uske liye aur kya kiya jana chahiye so it's all about that we have already talked about the regional rural banks so that's all for today and thank you so much for joining us in this session i hope jo bhi topics aaj humne discuss kiye nuances i have raised questions i have raised regarding different topics that makes sense to you and do subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to hit the like button for this video